In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar graph and include error bars on that bar graph. Here we can see I have my independent variable in the first column as it should be, and then a column further to the right with the average data, in this case, for soil temperature. So what I want to do is create a graph of habitat location against average soil temperature. In order to create the chart or the bar graph, what I want to do is first select the data that I want to graph. So I'm going to highlight the fields here for the habitat location and then while I'm holding down the command key on an Apple it's the control key on a Windows machine I'm now going to select this data. Notice now that both sets of data here habitat location and average are selected or highlighted in blue. Up here in the menu area now I'm going to make sure that instead of the home area I now select charts. Over here I have a column graph option and I'm going to select the 2D clustered column. Here we have a nice bar graph with the specific versions of the independent variable already labeled on the x-axis and each of the averages is accurately graphed and that's something important that you should check. You should verify that this actually is 13.8, this actually is 14.4 and this actually is in this case 16.5. <clears throat> So there's a few things that I need to change here about my graph. The first is, because we only have one independent variable, I do not need a legend. So I can just click this area here and hit the delete key. Notice that it resizes everything to fill the frame. Next, I'm going to move up here to um, the chart layout area. And here is where I'm going to be able to add things like a chart title, axis titles, legends, um, and in the end also error bars. <clears throat> now we're not going to add the chart title here, instead we will add the chart title when I import it into Word. But for now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the correct axis titles. So first the horizontal axis title, I will say a title below the axis, and now I just move my cursor down, select this area, and change this particular axis title to match that of my variable habitat location. Back up here, axis title, vertical axis title. I particularly like the rotated title. I think that one looks best and fits best when you have um, uh, space constraints. It's important to remember to include the units. <clears throat> Notice that when um, I am not clicked on the graph here, I don't have those chart layout options available to me as a menu option. I need to make sure that the graph is actually selected for that chart layout option to become available to me. Let's see, do I need to add anything else? No, I don't think I do. The last thing that I need to add are error bars. A lot of people will go for the standard deviation because, as you know, this um, has calculated one standard deviation, but in fact, um, the actual way to do it is just to go straight into the error bar options. We want to create a custom error bar, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way just in case this window blocks my view of my standard deviation in the future. I'm going to select custom, specify value. for the positive error bar, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this little button which um, is essentially telling Excel I'm going to select the cells that you want to look at and we're going to select all of the standard deviations and then hit return. We're going to do exactly the same for the negative error value. One standard deviation up, one standard deviation down. Now click OK and OK again and now we have all of the error bars which are the specific length of the standard deviation for each of the specific variables. And that's it.